I don't know about you guys, but the Holine household, we need to clear our heads. We need to get into some fresh air. most to do is making a lot of bracelets in the motorhome and driving at the dunes on the four-wheeler. I'm going to do, I'm going to do playing in the RV while we're driving and playing on the four-wheelers. I want to play with what I'm most excited for is playing with cousins, having a fire, and most of all, playing on the four-wheelers. I'm going to I'm gonna like play with my with my ring. I'm gonna like my ring because I want a green one. people know where we are headed. We are heading to St. Anthony, Idaho. And, and the reason we're heading to St. Anthony, Idaho is because they have sand dunes there that we can take the four wheelers and go play. Story time. Ooh, okay. Joe Helene. In 1996, I was in the fourth grade and it was Memorial Day weekend and I went on the first ever four-wheeling slash ATV trip I've ever been on ever in my life and I went with a good friend and his family had four-wheelers and stuff and uh, we went to St. Anthony Idaho and we're going to be right by where we are at and so that's where I'm taking my family 24 years later to go four-wheeling where I learned how to ride a four-wheeler. How cool is that? What I need to know is on this original four-wheeling trip where it sparked your love and joy for four-wheeling did you take a motorhome? You bet your bottom biffy we did. We took a motorhome, me and my buddy were in the back, his little sister, his cousins, all of us, and we towed up a big old trailer just like this full of machines. Funny thing was though, they were all three wheelers. So the first time I ever went four wheeling, it was actually on three wheels. <laughs> You've evolved. Okay. Oh, the other one. <laughs> <laughs> to say it's been a stressful drive to the point we're at now would be an understatement. Yeah, it is. Got it. Yeah, we're out. Joel, would you ever fresh air rent a motorhome again? No. Yeah. No. Are, Are you serious? serious? Yeah, I would. I think I think this one's uh it's good, it's just been Worked. A, a jalopy. Making a pit stop, we're gonna fuel this hog. Let everybody pick out two treats and a drink. You guys are animals. Um, <laughs> what are you gonna get? What are you gonna get? Nada, Nothing. water. Daddy, hi, daddy's coming. Aww. Heck no, dad's paying for this, are you kidding me? If you were wondering where we camped the first time we ever came here, right here, this little spot right there. And I learned how to ride a four-wheeler on the dunes right behind us. This is the Outlaw 70 EFI, which means it is electric fuel injected. 
We've had another four-wheeler in the past that just didn't run very good because it was carburetor ran. This new one, being fuel injected, will start and turn on every single time. It makes it more reliable and less stressful and easier to use as a four-wheeler. The next features I like about this model are the safety features and Polaris stresses safety. This model features single lever brakes, which means one lever will control the brakes for the entire four-wheeler and their hydraulic brakes, which makes them engage so much better. Also, Polaris put full plastics all the way around the four-wheeler so the kids' legs won't get overheated or hot or possibly burned. One of the last features that I like the most is that it has throttle control. Maybe you've got a kid that's learning how to ride for the first time, Boston, he's a little bit timid. I don't want the machine to open up fully for him, so I can control the throttle and set it so that it only lets him open it up just a little bit. But Cody's a little bit more learned in the four-wheeler realm, so he can have the throttle a little bit higher set, and I can make those adjustments so it's built for the kid's capabilities. And what I really like is that this four-wheeler is big enough bodied for Olivia to ride it, and it can open up big enough for her to ride it as well. You bet, bud. That means you're having a good time. You gotta get everything in the vlogging world. That's exactly what we're doing. What? Yeah, your bum is filthy. Okay, Olivia, maybe you can help get Lincoln his. Can you do that? Will you get Lincoln a hot dog and then you can get yours? Linky, I don't think I'm gonna trust you with this, so why don't you go sit down? And Olivia's going to get you a hot dog. What did you guys think of the day? Good. The mini four wheeler was so fun. Was it? What did you like about it? Uh, I like feel like it's like just the amount of speed and like it's a nice amount of like <laughs> it's just like really good. Okay, I was actually a little bit surprised at how well Olivia did. Typically Olivia gets a little like so nervous that she won't ride. And so I felt really proud of Olivia for riding and enjoying it and having fun enjoying it. yeah we're this is like the perfect time in the evening we're getting ready for dinner and we're waiting to see what the sunset's going to do with for us tonight oh this is so dang cute i need to take a picture of this who else needs one of these um i need a hot dog in a minute you want a hot dog I like relish on mine. I like relish on mine too. Did you bring mayonnaise? You didn't bring the mayonnaise? Well, you could be like Cody and not want anything on your butt. That's, that's, that's appalling. Okay, turn your stick and put it in the sand. Oh. Put it in the sand, that's good. Fine, stick it in the sand. Here you go, come get your Wherever it'll be protected. Oh my, okay, well, stand up, come on. Sand's clean. Right. Letting go of the control over here. Okay, Olivia needs some ketchup. Hot. Hot? Yeah, that's a hot dog. That's a hot dog. It's yours. You went what toppings? Ketchup and relish. That's I perfect. Don't like, I don't like mustard. Okay, there you go. Boston, what do you want? What the fuck? 
Oh, no. Oh, ketchup! Yes, yes, he'll eat it. Hot. Okay, no. do you want ketchup only? No, you must eat ketchup. How much do you love hearing the roar of the four wheelers and everything back behind us? I mean, it makes me a little stressed, but. I love it. Oh, my gosh. What? I can't get enough of the sound of it. Well, this is what the uh, sunset is doing for us. Can you say golden hour? <laughs> Hello. My name is Bonnie Holleen. Thank you for watching this vlog. You guys scared of just a weedle old beetle? Don't poke him. That thing is huge. Yeah. Mostly because I don't want this stick to be just. He's just going to walk his way away from us. Bye, little beetle. Like, Bye, little be beetle. I hope you find your dad. We're coming to the end of our day here. I saw how much work went into getting this trip ready, and I just need to know, does it feel worth it to you? Right now, roasting a hot dog on the sand dunes with my family, this is absolutely worth every bit of frustration or like work it took to get up here. It's worth all of it right now. Cool, I mean, and I genuinely and was, yeah, I was genuinely asking because right one, the prep, two, he's just barely recovered. So I've been genuinely concerned for him. And then driving up here in the motor, <laughs> I feel like it was worth it. I feel like this view is worth it. You see that little boy playing in the sand? That's I worth do. It, right thank there. you. I personally want to thank Polaris for partnering with this video because that's a brand that I've grown up with my entire life and for them to work with me on a video and help me have a kid's four-wheeler here with us, that just culminates my life right now and I'm so grateful for it. So thank you, Polaris. And if you guys like today's video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And if you guys are interested in any of the machines that we've shown, I'll leave a link down in the description. You guys can go check them out. We'll see you guys next time. I feel almost choked up watching Joel do that because I know how, <laughs> look, oh, oh, is Joel getting choked up? Okay. Turn the camera off. Joel might be getting choked up. Guys, this is like a dream for him. He has been wanting to work with Polaris ever since we like started working with brands on this channel six years ago. So this is a big moment for Joel. <laughs> big moment for Joel and I'm really proud of you I'm proud of you for putting together the trip and you guys my whole entire family is gonna be up here tomorrow so stay tuned for that because that's always a good time and yeah guys we'll see you tomorrow bye